hi guys it's Jody welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna make some curry chicken wings yes so in my bowl right here I've got one pack of chicken wings that are already washed and clean in some lime juice okay and these are my herbs here I have four cloves of garlic that I finely chop one tablespoon of my fresh thyme and I also have one stalk of scallion and scotch bonnet pepper okay and half of onion so firstly I'm gonna add my seasoning to my wings and I'm gonna add one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning one teaspoon of my chicken seasoning and one teaspoon of black pepper okay then I'm gonna add my fresh herbs you wanna add it like so and my fresh thyme and this is my scotch bonnet pepper that I cut and this is the amount that I'm gonna use if you want it to be so spicy guys you can always add more okay some pimento seed just a few of my pimento seed and that's the whole pimento if you don't have the whole pimento you can always use ground pimento okay and now I'm gonna add my curry powder and I'm using better pack and guys you can always use whichever one you have so I'm gonna add at least two teaspoon of my curry powder yeah so now I'm gonna take my nice clean hands and you want to make sure that you mix it all in okay so everything will all combine this is optional but I'm just gonna add some olive oil at least two teaspoons of olive oil just to keep it nice and moist okay and for the season to stick on the chicken wings or your chicken whatever you're doing you want to make sure guys that all the seasoning is all over on your chicken wings okay and you can always leave it to marinate for at least 30 minutes all those spices smell so good and guys if you have ginger you can also add some ginger to it just a small amount okay so that's done so guys my pot is now on my stove and to my pot I add at least just over one tablespoon of olive oil you can always use vegetable oil okay so now that my pot and my oil is all heated up I'm gonna add one spoon of my curry powder okay cuz I'm gonna burn my curry powder just for a couple of seconds and I'm also gonna add two cloves of garlic to the to my pot okay So now that my curry is burned, now I'm gonna add my chicken wings, okay? Try not to get too much of the onion in your pot. I'm telling you, it smells so good. I 
I'm gonna give it a stir. So I'm gonna cover my pot guys and I'm gonna leave it for at least six minutes, okay? And my stove is at a medium heat. Make sure you don't turn it up so high. So now I'm gonna remove my lid from my curry chicken. And guys, this is what it look like. Gonna give it a stir. It looks so, so, so good guys. Super, super delicious. What I'm gonna do, the same bowl that I use, this bowl here, that I use to season my curry wings, I'm gonna add at least one and a half cup of water to, that, to this bowl, okay? And I'm adding hot water. You wanna give it a stir? Then I'm gonna take my time and just add it to my pot, like so. The color is just amazing, guys. So after I had my water, I'm just gonna give it a stir. Then I'm gonna add some muggy stop cube guys I'm gonna add a small muggy stop cube okay if you don't have the muggy stop cube you can always add all-purpose seasoning yes and you can always add some salt to your liking I'm just crushing it up And I'm also gonna add some ginger. I add at least one teaspoon of my ginger, okay? As I said guys, you can always taste it to your liking, okay? So now I'm gonna cover it up and I'm gonna leave it for at least 15 minutes, yes. So guys, it's been around 15 minutes and this is what it look like. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add one small potato that I cut and one carrot also, a small carrot, okay? And I'm just gonna leave it for six minutes and it is finished, yes. Look at that, it looks so good. What the potato it does, guys, is gonna allow your gravy to thicken up, okay? You don't have to add it, this is totally optional, but this is something that I normally do. Look at that guys. I'm telling you, I wish you guys could be in my kitchen. It smells so, so, so good. So I'm gonna cover my pot, or you can just off cover it. So guys, my curry chicken wings is all finished. So I'm just gonna turn my stove off. It is nicely, nicely done.
perfect. You don't want the potato to cook out too much, okay? I'm just gonna add some parsley just for some color totally optional you can serve it guys with some rice some mashed potato whatever you preferred okay so good So guys, I'm serving my curry chicken wings with some plain basmati rice, some plantain on the side, and some salad. I'm telling you, it's looking super, super delicious. Please guys, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share this video, everyone, to your families, to your friends, and everyone on your social media. I will really, really appreciate it. I'm telling you, this recipe right here is a must try. You know the reason why I do this recipe? Because I normally would do chicken. I was thinking, you know what? I'm going to curry my chicken wings. Yes, and that's what I did. And it came out so perfect. It tastes super, super delicious. Guys, I thank you all so much for watching this video. Until next time, bye! Don't forget to keep laughing, keep smiling, no matter what. Because God is always on your side. Bye, guys. Much love.